Delightful couple, typical American suburbanites, successful businessman and charming wife. Well, you'd better not believe it. It's all up front. They're foreign spies intent on destroying our free enterprise system. He's agent 88 and she's 77. Her, a spy. Him, a foreign agent? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Of course, but don't let me interrupt your teletronic briefing session. Gee whiz, 77, he's right. We gotta tune in and learn about that symbol of decadent American democracy over there. Check, 88. Yes, it fits the recognition manual. 1970 Dodge Polaro with the new longer hood and shorter rear deck. That is correct, 77. And notice how that big bumper wraps around. These changes reflect American fondness for handsome, sporty styling. And that side marker built into the bumper reflects end lights with a bulb. Such developments will never help dig potatoes from the ground. And back here, the wraparound bumper treatment again. Far too much emphasis on style, proportion, and harmony. Yes, sir. And this grill, obviously designed for eye appeal. Mm, yes, obviously. Tighten up, 77. Think of the peasants. Protect their interests. Like that bumper protects the recessed grill. Sorry, Chief. Say, what's that little light in the grill? Optional super light. One of our inventions, of course. Of course. Of course. It lets you see far beyond the range of your low beam, but without blinding oncoming drivers. Is very good for when you can't use your bright lights. And observe, comrades. Body side molding with a vinyl insert. Strictly for looks and to prevent scratches from other car doors. Mmm, that's not all bad. Notice the vinyl roof. This option is available in black, white, green, champagne, and new gator grain. Five colors. And... Even a rainbow doesn't come close to the 18 body color choices. That's sure overdoing it, Chief. Dark green metallic, that's for me. Mmm, make mine burnt orange. Sheer extravagance. Six tail lights and two backup lights. One of each should be enough. And the rear track. Rear track? Distance between the rear tires, 77. It's nearly three inches wider this year for an even more stable stance and better ride. Really, it's much too good for them. But try it yourselves. Drive over to Telecontrol Cliff. We'll continue your briefing en route. All right, 88. Your observations, please. The ride is smoother than vintage vodka. Smoothest I've ever felt. Undeniably. And you, 77? So quiet. How did they do it? By squandering soft, live rubber. The suspension is completely isolated from the body by rubber. Naturally, this cushions out noise, shock, and vibration. They call it torsion quiet ride. Talk about pampering people. Yeah, man. I see what you mean, Chief. You get great control and handling. That's from the basic torsion air suspension. And you don't get any noisy metal-to-metal -metal contact. Because all the contact points are pillowed by rubber cushions, right, Chief? Right, and you can play the annual chorus outside the passenger compartment and not wake a cat sleeping inside with all those thick blankets of insulation. And now, you're going over tar seams. Please describe how the bombs feel. Bombs? Nothing, eh? <laughs> See the result? Instead of glorying in hardship as people should, Polera owners will revel in comfort. And these new larger standard H78 fiberglass belted tires give about twice as much mileage as the freeway standard tires. You know what that will mean. The money they don't spend replacing tires will buy more stocks, build more capital, make them even richer. And richer still if they invest the fuel savings from Polaris standard 318 V8. And even though it has more horses than a Cossack regiment, these Americans are never satisfied. So, there are optional V8s. The 383 two-barrel, which is standard on custom models, a 444 barrel with single exhaust, or oversized dual exhausts. 
the fully synchronized three-speed manual transmission, standard with the 318. Any driver can shift without a clash. Now I ask you, is that good? It is for me, Chiefy Baby. Personally, I like this automatic. That is Torque Flight 88, an option required with the 440 engines. Well, that's pretty nervy. Not really, 77. It's a matter of capacity for handling all that beautiful power. I thought we didn't like power. Ah, Teletronic View is coming in from our lab by satellite. Notice how much room there is for people in this Polera. More than in any other U.S.-built car, including Lincoln and Cadillac. Then you might say Polara is really too much car for the money. Precisely. A prime example of overvalue. Another example. This luxury level wood grain instrument panel is standard on Polara. Hey, I like those big clear instruments. Here's the locking steering column ignition and warning buzzer. If you leave without locking it and removing the key... A warning buzzer sounds when the door opens. Good, I always forget. Neither the wheel nor shift lever will move when the switch is locked and key removed. All of this, of course, is to stop car thieves. A flat admission that car thefts occur in this country. Concealed wipers are standard. That's what I call clean design. Watch yourself, 88. Oh, sorry, Chief. Air conditioning is available with or without the automatic temperature control. With ATC, you just set the thermostat to enjoy year-round comfort automatically. Very bad. Man was intended to suffer from temperature extremes. ATC, eh? I'll make a mental note of that one. This is Polara's new Rimblo steering wheel. Squeezing anywhere on the rim sounds the horn. Actually, we invented this wheel years ago. Of course, Chief. I'll add Rimblo to my list, too. And there's a tilt wheel. From this position, it tilts all the way to here, with several intermediate stages, allowing anyone to get a tailor-made comfort angle. Another example of Polara pampering. I'm tilting toward Polara more and more. When power brakes are ordered, floating caliper disc front brakes are available as an extra option. What excesses do they suffer from, Chief? Excess resistance to fade and excess stopping power. These really should be reserved for state staff cars. Like on my new replacement. As you might suspect, the full range of power equipment is available. Windows, seat, steering, door locks. I think I'll go first cabin all the way. Well, here we are, Chief. Telecontrol Cliff. All right. Pull up where you can get a good view of the cloud scanner area. That ought to do it. Now you and 77 tune in on a hot cloud for further briefing. What do you know? The Polara lineup. Two and four door hardtops. Four-door sedan, convertible, and two- and three-seat wagons. The next transmission covers something completely new for 70. Polera Custom Series. Three models, two- and four-door hardtops, and a four-door sedan. With special exterior treatment, the custom includes... Got it, Chief. Custom nameplate, wheel covers, three-spoke steering wheel, light package, and special interiors. This cloth and vinyl bench seat is standard on custom models. All vinyl with armrest is a no-cost option. How lovely. Watch it, 77. You could be Siberia material. Optional all vinyl bucket seats with fixed center cushion and holding armrest are for the custom two-door hardtop only. That's for me. This cloth and vinyl bench seat is standard in Polaris sedans and hardtops. All vinyl is optional and standard in the convertible and wagons. Bucket seats of this style and in black vinyl only are optional in the Polara convertible. That does it. I love basic black and convertibles. Well, that completes the briefing, comrades. And now that you know the full Polara story, I'm confident that you have come to realize that we are Polara material. Right, Kate. We're with you. A story of triple defection? No, friends. A clear-cut case of triple affection for Polara. They just got smart.